hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and today I'm back with a tutorial now I was thinking a couple of days ago about making this but I wasn't sure how I was going to do it so this is just my prototype but what it's meant to be is do you know like those ladies um like clutch cases they're more like a case um than a bag and they have like the um often have the the metal around the sides <clears throat> and that's what this is designed to be so as i said it's just a prototype hence the colors and stuff and then it just opens up and it has the um this bit here will stop it from like collapsing in on itself and it's reinforced as well so and um this keeps it closed too so that's even better so that's what we're going to do which i thought was a really cool little idea um all right now this bit here is just um a die that i'd cut out and embossed and you don't have to do that you can just put whatever you want to have on the front and back of your bag or you can use cut out a, a smaller like layering piece to cover it and just use an embossing folder which is what I've done and what I did was I'm going to make the bag in pink and I did these two in pink but then I tried this as well and I'm not I think I'm going to go for this uh, because what I did was I put pearls well liquid pearls um, not normal pearls I just put them on last night and let it dry overnight so I think I'm going to use this design um, and the embossing folder for this one was is from craft stash so I'll put the link for that because it does make it look like kind of animal print is what it is a crocodile print is it I think um, so it's really easy to make actually it's not hard at all so I'll just get the measurements I can find them here we go <clears throat> so you need two pieces of card which are exactly the same size and we're going to do exactly the same to them score them the same they need to measure eight and three quarters by seven and one quarter inches and we're going to score them both on all four sides at three uh, sorry at a quarter three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half so three quarters and an inch and a half and just do that on all four sides So there you go, you'll have two pieces which are the same. So we'll just fold and burnish them. So <clears throat> we're going to cut them both in exactly the same way as well. So turn it so the long side is downwards and then we're just gonna cut up the squares okay like that just chop them end ones away and we're just gonna keep this little one here and we're just gonna mite it in as well on all of the little pieces okay so that's what you're going to do on all four of your sides okay 
Okay, so you should have that. <clears throat> Do the same here. I don't know if you can hear Erie, but I can hear him saying cheeky boy. <laughs> That's all he says really, cheeky boy, um, Erie baby, and Erie, because I'm always, if he's wittering on when I'm trying to watch the TV or something, I'm like, Erie! So that's what he sits and says, Erie! <laughs> So, we need to do the same with this one. Let's make sure I get this right. My brain doesn't seem to work lately. Get these out the way. Okay, so this is what you will have two identical pieces okay so what you're going to do is just pick one of these which will be on the long side which you're going to have as the bottom okay so the rest the other three sides are just going to go together as the wood a normal reinforced box and we're just going to leave well, we're going to glue that in there, but then we're not going to do anything with this bit yet. We're going to do the exact same with that one. So, I'm going to get the glue and I'll show you what I mean. Put some glue on these tabs or tape, whatever you prefer. glue on these and you can stick them there but like I say we're not going to do anything oops wrong way we're not going to do anything with the bottom sections yet because they're going to attach our little purse together So, just glue the three sides to reinforce it. Let's get my bone fold out, what I've done with it. Buried it as usual. one of them okay so that's what you will have and then just give that one a little fall so it's flexible so you've got that okay you're going to do exactly the same with this. 
So glue on all four of these little tabs. We've now got these here and it's going to go together like that which I think you can probably gather. So we'll sort that bit out last. Right so now you can do this bit now before we put it together is I've made a little pocket. I thought it would be nice to have a little pocket inside. You could maybe even slip a little gift card or just something, just a cute little pocket in there. What is this measure? I don't think I've wrote it down. Um, let's have a look. So it is six inches by three inches and you want to score um, three sides at half an inch and one inch and then just snip away the bottom piece you'll have left and then it just makes it so it's not totally flat so that when you have it stuck down it's got a bit of give to put things in okay So I am going to put some glue on here, glue that to there. And then you can just put it whichever side you want. I think I will just put some glue on as well. And then I'm just going to stick mine in there. As you can see it's not completely flat it's got some give in that so that's a little pocket and then on the other side what I've done is I've just cut a little shape and I'm going to have this as a little mirror which is what I normally do in stuff like this that I make I just think it's just a sweet little idea so I'm just going to pop the mirror in probably easier to do this now before you stick it together so we'll have a pocket in one side and we've got a cute little a little mirror in the other okay and then now it's probably best to just decorate the outside although is it better to stick it together yeah we'll stick it together first so really easy all we're going to do is just put some glue on here and we're going to glue one of the this one of the sides into there into this bit here and then when you turn it over you'll have this glue on there and glue that down there and that just makes it nice and sturdy instead of like cutting that off it's you know what i mean it's going to be better to keep them on so first i want glue just on this piece here camera is going to run out in a second and then just glue that into there yes yeah, sorry the camera ran out there so I've glued 
the inside and then as I said you will end up with this piece sticking out here so just glue that to there and then it's kind of reinforcing it even more really let's just put some glue on there it's a really strong little case this like, well it's a sort of case clutch case isn't it so it's meant to be anyway right so that's that done now <coughs> the reinforced pieces not the reinforced pieces what would you call them to uh, stop it from closing in on itself um, <coughs> you're going to need three pieces of card you're going to need two which are um, two by four and one eighth so two by four and one eighth and you need one which is two by five and five eighths and we're going to score them all on the short side at one inch and then fold them in half and glue them together so let's get this glue sorted out before it clogs So just put them in the short side and score them at one, okay? them and then we're literally just going to glue them together and they should fit you might have to trim just a tiny little bit but that's no big deal so the shorter ones are obviously for the side and that one seems to, to fit pretty well it doesn't matter which side you put them on it's entirely up to you and then obviously the long one yeah that seems to fit yeah I think I'm okay the size there I don't need to trim them okay so I'm going to have mine on this side, I think, and then now they don't fit that side. So they're going to go this side. Strange that, isn't it? <laughs> so the best way to do it is just to put the glue on the inside of here. All right, so there's our reinforced, and then with a bit of luck, it should close. Once you get it in the first time. Now, if you find that some of these little bits are sticking over, you can just trim these little bits just to stop them catching like that one there is a little bit too long so I'm gonna just trim a little bit more off there it's just to stop them getting in the way that's all okay. there we go so if you find that you know it's uh, catching a little bit just trim them off 
So there's our little case. And now we can decorate the front, or which, well, the front and the back, rather. Oh, that one's not staying closed as well. Right, so I'm going to go for these ones, I think. So I'm going to glue them on. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I did as well on this one, you can see, which I think makes it look more like a case. What I've done is I've cut these thin strips just from um, Miri card, and they're only a quarter of an inch wide, and I've just cut them to the length of a A4 card, which is 11 and 3 quarters. And all I'm going to do is just glue them on each side of the case just to make it look like it's metal. So I'm just going to put glue just on here. I mean, you could do this before you join them together if you want. So just glue that down there. And then just go around here. And then obviously this is not going to be long enough, but what I did was I just so glue this on. Okay, so just follow around just so it's not like we're not stopping and starting and seeing cut lines. And then I just took another one. And then instead of just gluing it there and seeing the join, I just glued it from there and then just snip it off at the bottom and I thought that worked better than joining it together. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Always oh, think glue on silver foil. Yeah, that is beautiful. Really happy with that. Looks really sweet. And then the closure, like well no, the clasp, they normally have like a a fancy clasp on the top so what I thought was I've got this like kind of metal bow and I thought just kind of gluing it on there obviously it's just going to be like a decoration but that's what they normally have on them um, so inside we've got our little pocket our little mirror and just pick which side you want as the front I'm going to have this one so I've got the hot glue gun on and all I'm going to do is just hot glue it on as you can see it just adds to the little bag doesn't it that is beautiful really impressed with that and then all I've done is I've just cut a little bit of pink card which was one and a half inches by half an inch and I just folded it in the middle and then I just got a little ring glued it inside and I just put these little charms 
and then I'm just going to glue this bit onto the side just like that okay so I've got some little charms hanging down so just want a bit of glue on there And there we go isn't that just absolutely beautiful so I hope you like it I hope you'll give it a try and um, I'll put all the measurements on my blog and I think that's just a perfect little gift so yeah over the moon with that so thanks for watching take care and bye for now